so dear students we are going to study about literary theory literary criticism difference and basically this lecture is feminist literary theory i'm dr zahur hussain and we'll talk about it uh, literary theory and criticism theory methods prediction explanation foundation criticism evaluation judgment analysis this is the way how we people go ahead in literary theory and we have already talked about it it's just a brief uh recap what we people have studied already theory is a process of understanding what the nature of literature is what functions it has what the relation of text is to author to reader to language to society to history it's not judgment but understanding of the frames of judgment so you keep in mind it's not judgment so uh literary criticism is practical application of well established ideas on literature whereas literary theory is more generalized version of criticism so literary criticism is fundamentally uh the estimation of the whole value of our uh, particular work or body of work on such grounds as the personal and or cultural significance of the themes and the usage of language of text the insights and impacts of a text particularly as these areas are seen to be mutually dependent supportive or inflective major differences between criticism and uh, what we can say literary theory criticism is critic oriented linear specific uh, tunnel vision exclusive theory is uh, reader writer theory story oriented eclectic uh, general peripheral vision and inclusive criticism what makes a literary piece good theory what is literature criticism which linguistic features add to the sublimity of text theory says what is linguistic concreteness and abstraction now we come towards our major topic our important topic that we people are going to study there it's feminist literary theory so feminist literary theory is difficult to define between uh, because feminism itself is difficult to define it's, it's uh, the term feminism does not claim to account for all women's experiences in exactly the same way because women have different experiences based on race religion sexual orientation class age heritage geographic location physical appearance etc so there is a great diversity within feminism but uh, definitely rights for women we people talk advocacy of their right is there their right for uh, access to each and every field just like males have their one so we can talk, talk about equity equality of women <laughs> however feminists do agree that women as a group have historically been oppressed, oppressed on the basis of their sex so it's true all over the world even in advanced countries it has been true that women were oppressed exploited just because they were women on the basis of their sex it's true it has been naturally observed all over the world so feminists are also true in this case feminists whether whether male or female advocate for women's rights on the ground of political social and economic equality to men because men have access to uh, a lot of liberty either it can be political social economic they can, they can earn they can move they can do but women were restricted uh, not only in asian countries in african countries uh, all over even in european countries all over the world it has been seen so actually what is a feminist lens what what we people see the world it's all because of the lenses theories are basically lenses if you were lens of feminism you can see things differently just like if you are moving in the sun and you have lenses you can see the world differently so theories are basically lenses and we have to see here the feminist lens there critics who apply the lens of feminist theory to literature are concerned with the myriad ways that gender can be read they examine women's representation archetypes stereotypes oppression and internal uh, internalized oppression from object to subject that women are considered just as object women writers and the literary canon women's language women's reading all these things are important <coughs> traditional gender roles basically it's all considered that nothing is important roles are defined by particular group and then the people are supposed to perform those rules roles accordingly the belief that gender roles are natural has been traditionally used to justify they they are going to make different between 
nurture and nature so, uh, they basically call uh, what we people call natural that women are tender women are uh, soft they say it's it's not natural it is social construct it's the product of society so it, it shouldn't be accepted one as people are going to say it the why women shouldn't own property why women shouldn't get an education why women shouldn't work outside the home why women shouldn't vote why women shouldn't hold the same position as men why women shouldn't earn the same wage as men so these are certain things that feminists have challenged sex and gender it's very important basically sex is biological constitution of male and female between the legs we can say it's 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 natural one but gender is important thing it's because of gender that we people do certain programming it's social one our cultural programming are feminine or masculine between the ears the second thing is first is natural definitely there the feminist accepts uh, uh, naturally it's accepted that women and female female uh, men are different one on the basis of sex but gender is basically the way the people deal them uh, then people place them that if you have the following physical traits so you are so and so and if you have the following physical traits you are superior and you are inferior oppression is an important thing that we can see in feminism one and feminist literary theory too the root of the word oppression is the element press the press of the crowd pressed into military service to press a pair of pants printing press press the button so presses are used to mold things or flatten them or reduce them in bulk sometime <clears throat> to reduce them by squeezing out the gases or liquids in them something pressed is something caught between or among forces and barriers which are so related to each other that jointly they restrain restrict or prevent the things motion or mobility mold immobilize reduce so th this is very beautifully the word oppression has been discussed this is how women are pressed just for the sake of we can see uh, convenience for male to express them to uh, keep them within limits sexism is systematic it consists of all wires of bird cage not just one the women are considered as objects art historian john berger introduced the concept of the gaze and the ways of seeing women must continually watch herself she is almost continually accompanied by her own image of herself while she is walking across a room or whilst she is weeping at the death of her father she can scarcely avoid envisioning herself walking or weeping from earliest childhood she has been taught and persuaded to survey herself continually so she she must see what she is so women's representation the gaze the act of surveillance of men looking and women being seen burger insist is intrinsic to relation between the sexes men look at women women watch themselves being looked at this determines not only most relation between men and women but also the relation of women to themselves the survivor uh, of women in herself is male the survey surveyed is female so subject or object she turns herself into an object and most particularly an object of vision a sight thus men gaze at women and women begin to see themselves though men's eye, through men's eyes they internalize the gaze that turns them into objects so th this is very important and alarming thing women write in a literary canon so uh, we have to see the literary canon rule the literary canon is a canon of books that has been considered the greatest literature of all time and the most influential is shaping western culture these works are considered the pinnacle of high art that's the art of highest and most noble merit why has the literary canon considered mainly of male writers and there we should qualify a white middle class and upper middle class male writers what have been the standard by which the works of women along with non white males and the economically disenfranchised have been judged who created these standards and who benefits from them can women or minorities or working class writers be comfortably added to the canon does 
the conception of a literary canon change as the writers are introduced no mostly they are adhered so feminist question in the literary canon does the existence of literary canon serve any useful purpose does it serve the interest of women or uh, other marginalized groups of people minorities and homosexual for instance to what extent does the nation of literary canon marginalize women is it inevitable that there be a literary canon or does the attempt to canonize some writers and exclude others so an often acknowledged critical purpose so we can see feminist literary critics feminist literary critics assert that most of our literature presents a masculine patriarchal view in which the role of women is negated or at best at best minimized feminist ask what's left out when women's experiences are left out of written culture whose stories are told and whose are ignored that's very important point so feminist literary critics might ask what are the women's attitude towards each other towards themselves what's the author's attitude toward women in society how does the author's culture influence his or her attitude who holds power in the story who does not hold power in the story what happens when women in the story challenges the status quo what consequences or limitation do they face is feminine imagery used if so what's the significance of such imagery do the female characters speak differently than the male characters compare the frequency of speech for the male characters to the frequency of speech for the female characters so these are the questions that literary canon that uh, feminist literary theory asks so these were uh, the question that we people talked over there one and uh, once again i come back that uh, we have talked in this literary theory uh, especially initially we talked about that what is meant by literary theory and i have also once again made it clear that what's the difference between uh, literary criticism and uh, and after studying the differences we move towards feminism that what is meant by feminism and um, it, it's it's a very tough thing to be explained that it's not only the exploitation of women by uh, men too it has been observed recently that women are also exploited by other women too sometimes it happened that if a woman of elite class is there she is not the bird she is not the target of anything especially we can see the minorities the minorities and as uh, the low middle class or middle class females are the target and they f- have to suffer a lot of things there and uh, we, we can see that how the literature that's produced especially by males uh, so we can see that uh, through this theory we can find either that literature truly uh, advocates the rights for women or not so this is all about the lecture thank you for watching